In this video, I wanted to share with you my community quizzes templates made inside of Glide. Glide is a no-code platform that allows anyone to create custom apps and websites without code. And you might be interested in my community quizzes templates if you have a group of users that you want to quiz. This allows you to create something totally custom. And the best part of this template is that anyone on the platform can create their own custom quizzes. Let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you a demo and how you can get started. All right, to access my community quizzes templates, all you have to do is follow the link in the description and it'll bring you to this Glide template overview page. Let's go ahead and preview this template by clicking on preview. This opens up the template inside of the Glide editor. And this gives you the option to just have a look at the template before you actually copy it to your account to make sure it's gonna work for you. For the landing page for this template, we have a list of quizzes and you can also add a quiz. Let's go ahead and look at the edition quiz. Here we can see a description of the quiz as well as everyone who has taken the quiz. If we wanna take the quiz on our own, we can go ahead and click on take quiz. This opens up the quiz inside of a form, and we can see here we have three questions, one plus one, one plus zero, and zero plus zero. The answers are mixed up, so I can't really guesstimate which one is gonna be the correct one, and then I can submit my response. Since this is a template, I'm not gonna attempt to do that because I don't want to update the data. But once that's submitted, that'll bring you to a response page that looks like this. Here we can have a look at Marie's results for her attempt at the addition quiz on February 8th, and she got a score of one out of three. We have a question by question drill down to see which answers she got incorrect and correct so that she knows what the actual correct answers were. Now the beauty of this template is that Marie or any of your users can actually create their own quizzes inside of Glide. All you do is click on add and then start specifying the quiz. Each quiz allows up to 10 questions and each question can have up to four choices. To define a quiz, you need to give it a name, a description, and then at least one question with at least two choices. As you fill out the form, it'll give you options to add more questions. Once you create a quiz, it'll show up here. And now anyone who is within your community quizzes ecosystem can take that quiz. And that's basically all there is to the community quizzes template. This allows anyone who is logged in to not only take quizzes that are within the platform, but create quizzes of their own that other people can take. If you wanna get started with this template and make it your own, just follow that link down in the description and click on the copy templates button. That'll copy this template to your account and then you can start extending this and making it your own. To do that, you'll need to come to the data editor and start specifying some of the data. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an overview of how things are set up from a data perspective so that you know where to make changes. You can see here at the top, we have the users table. This is everybody who has access to the quiz platform. Below that we have quizzes, and this is tied to the quiz form here. This is how quizzes are defined. Remember I told you that each quiz has a name, a description. We also store who created the quiz and the date it was created. And then we get into the question by question definitions. So each question, has the question itself and then four choices. One thing I didn't note earlier is that choice number one is always gonna be the correct answer. That's noted whenever you're defining a quiz, you can see here it says choice one, the correct one. And then remember we shuffle the choices whenever we display the quiz. So each question is gonna have those five things, a question and then four choices. And this table just uh, keeps on going. So that's how a quiz is defined. Then we get to quiz responses. And this is whenever somebody takes a quiz. Here we have the person who took the quiz, the date they took it on, and then the name of the quiz that they took. If we scroll over some more, get past all the computational score stuff, then we get to the actual answer that the user chose. You can see here just for question number one, we have one field that the user is actually updating. Everything else is lookups and if then else columns to display everything and computate the uh, user score. So we do this for each and every question. The last table here is called choices and this is some advanced level glide stuff that um, allows us to dynamically populate the choice components inside of the question form. The easiest way to make this your own is don't touch this table, delete all the quiz responses and the quizzes, and then just start adding stuff from the user interface. As long as you stick within the boundaries of having 10 questions and up to four choices, you shouldn't have to touch these tables. If you want a detailed walkthrough of how I created this template, I do have another video walking you through that. I hope you find this template intriguing and useful for your use case. 
If you need any help implementing it or want help making something similar or something completely unique inside of Glide, you can follow that link in the description as well and click on Hire Me. That'll bring you to my expert profile where we can connect and work on your project together. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. And remember, the link is down in the description where you can get a copy of this community quizzes template for free. If you liked this video and you wanna get a step-by-step -step tutorial of how I created this community quizzes template, then be sure to check out that video right there. I'll show you how to create this entire complex thing from start to finish. This was definitely the most complex tutorial I've ever done for a Glide project. If you wanna level up your no-code skills, definitely check that out. Thanks for watching this video. Good luck on your next project and happy coding.